doing with me. So we're gonna look at lower body stretches today. So we're just gonna start off with the lower leg. So I'm just gonna spin around this way. So you're gonna straighten the leg, make sure you're sat towards the edge of the chair and just flex the foot back. So you've got a stretch in the lower leg. And again, you can hold these, we're just gonna do maintenance steps for about 10 seconds. If you had more time, if you were on your lunch break, then you could hold them um, even up to 60 or to 90 seconds. And then we're gonna release and we're gonna change legs. So you're gonna lengthen the opposite leg. I'm just gonna move over a bit to make sure I am on the view there. Okay, so you're gonna stretch the opposite leg. So just feel that length through the back of the lower leg muscles. And again, make sure you're sat. So both sitting bones are down, you're pressing, you're grounding through the other foot into the floor. If you want a little bit more stretch, just lengthen into that. So all into the lower, back of the lower leg there. You should be getting a deep stretch. So the spine stays long, even if you're gonna hinge from the hips, make sure you don't round the spine. And then release. Okay, now this is where, in theory, if you've got a desk and you've got, you know, some sort of shelving system, you can place your, your foot on the desk, depending on how it was, you can place it into the system there, or you can hold the back of the thigh. So now you're going to get a hamstring stretch. If you want a little bit more, you could hold down towards the um, foot line. So you're going to lengthen now into the back of the thighs. So we're here. Maybe if you're on that Zoom call and you're in hide participant self for you, you could do your stretches there. And release, and then we're gonna change. So remember, the back of the thigh muscle connects into that um, bottom muscle. So we just wanna lengthen right through the back of the hamstring. So you don't wanna be feeling it directly into the back of your knee joint. If you are, don't bring the leg up as high. And again, with this stretch, depending on where your foot is, you can lengthen into it. So if your foot's on the desk, then you might wanna lengthen into the stretch there. Again, stay grounded through the opposite foot. And then we're gonna release. Okay, so from the lower leg to the back of the thigh, let's do the inner thigh line now. So you're gonna take one, oh, come this way. you're gonna stay sat um, towards the edge of the chair, and you're gonna just take one leg out to the side, so you're gonna get an inner thigh stretch. So you can bring the hands onto the thigh to support. Again, if you've got a desk that's got um, almost those shelving units into it, you could stick the leg, the straight leg, out onto that so you're here. So you isolate into that side. And again, you might wanna have shifted your weight to the one side of the chair, if that's better for you, to feel that inner thigh stretch. And again, keep the spine long as you do that. And release, and then we're gonna change sides. So you might shift to the opposite side, and then lengthen, so you're here. So both sitting bones are still in the chair, but you just drop that leg out over the side and press. Or as I said before, if you've got that shelving tier, stick your, your heel into that. If you're mega flexible, you could also, I guess, stick the leg up on the desk and do that in the thigh stretch. So we're here, keeping the spine long and just hinge into that. Keep the thigh bones, so it's turning out slightly. The, the knee's gonna be facing the sky, but it's actually taking the leg back so you get the inner thigh. So we're here. And then release. And then we're going to do a stretch for the glutes because we're often sat on this um, big muscle onto that bottom muscle. And this is where if you sit down for long periods of time, you don't actually move. That's when the spine gets compressed and almost the joints are getting squashed, if you like. And we want to decompress the spine. So from here, we're going to stretch into the glute line. So you're going to take that right leg and bring it across. Keep the foot flexed to protect the knee joint. And again, rather than pushing the knee down, think about spiraling the thigh bone out so you turn the tissues out. Let me go this way. So from here, you're just turning out into that line. So we should feel that going down the side of the bottom and into the back line. Again, if you want more stretch, just lean into that. So you feel all that side line. So sometimes when your lower back plays up or you get little niggles or pain, so we can, because the glutes can become overly tight because they feed up into that lower back line. So it's elo So we just want to allow that area to become free. 
and then we're going to release. A little shake out, change sides across the opposite leg. And again, if you've got one of those shelving tiers, there's no reason why you couldn't put this other foot up onto one of those because you'd be balanced if you wanted to increase that stretch. And then again, we're just turning out from here. So feel that stretch down the side of the bottom into that back line. And you can lengthen into this stretch as well. Ground the sitting bones as you do that, but just for bringing the body weight slightly forward, that'll increase your stretch. And again, we're turning out here. So I'm not a push out because that'll tip the pelvis, but a rotating effect there into the tissues. And hold that stretch. I'm hoping you can all feel that. So just working away at the body. And release. Okay, little shake out. So from here, let's go into the front line now. So we're gonna, we are actually gonna stand up for this one. So from here, you're going to just hook one foot um, to the back of the chair. Now you might just need to move yourself forward slightly and drop either slightly into it or you can lengthen the chair so it goes further away. Whichever, either or, so you can feel that stretch. I'll probably take the chair further away so you don't have to drop too deep because I don't want to be um, compromising the knee joint. And then send the thigh bone and the hip forward so you open here. So again, if you're sat down all day, those hip flexors, especially if you have to sit for a long journey to work as well, those hip flexors become tight and then you get pulled forward. So that combined with working in this position over your um, desk, computers, whatever, we just need to realign the body there rebalance and we should feel that and again just press the foot back more into the chair and feel how that ignites that front line so we're here and then release and we're going to do the opposite side this way so you can turn around if you like so take the chair away so you can feel that stretch and then we're going to feel that into the front of the thigh We've all got that. And again, if you take the chair back, it's the hip extension, the opening of the hip, that'll give you a deeper stretch here. So just have a baby bend in that front leg. Yes, you could lower down slightly, that would increase your stretch as well. And just take the chair back, increase the stretch. So you could, in theory, maybe save the spot one of the every hour or it might be that you do this on your lunch break whatever suits you in between meetings and slowly release take a little shake out okay the last stretch we're going to do so you're going to stretch there's another um, muscle in the lower leg not just that gastrocnemius muscle that we stretched here and um, this one can only stretch on a bent leg now you might need a more stable part of the chair so your chair you can maybe press against the wall or the um, desk, and then you're going to bend the knee here. So we're going to stretch just into that lower leg muscle, into that position. So you could do this against a wall. You do want something more robust so you can get enough um, resistance there to feel the stretch and release. And then we're going to change and do the opposite side. So bring your foot as far up the chair or the wall. You might be using the um, side part of the chair here, that's fine. As long as you've got a stretch and hold it there. And release. Little shake out. So there we have it. Your lower body stretch routine. So you could combine that if you like with your upper body um, routine. Or it might be that we did yesterday, you save one routine for morning one routine for afternoon, or you can mix and match depending on how your body's feeling. So let me know if you found that helpful, if that was useful. And have a fabulous Friday, everyone.